Hello and welcome. An awakened community are outraged and alarmed by the despotic bullying and the unconscionable conduct of the WA Department of Health relentlessly pushing a genocidal program of mass poisoning in contemptuous disregard of ever-mounting public demand to cease and desist. The overwhelming public majority vehemently oppose water fluoridation, but in true Dr. Mengele fashion, these medical mobsters arrogantly and unlawfully refuse to respect and acknowledge public directive. This health Gestapo have elevated themselves above the law by ignoring the massive body of peer-reviewed science that condemns the disposal of neurotoxic industrial waste into public water supplies under the false pretense of being a health initiative, an initiative that is unsought, unwanted and fiercely rejected. Such fascist tyranny constitutes premeditated crime against humanity. Without exception, all government claims and referred literature supporting fluoridation are conclusively discredited and disproven beyond doubt. A factual circumstance that morally and legally compels an immediate end to what is long since exposed as a criminal scam. Fluoridation is a monstrous medical intervention that is illegally inflicted without informed consent and against the express wishes of its victim, the public. Having registered extreme protests to this manifestly illegal medical intervention, all of a sudden, the government Gestapo claimed fluoridation is no longer classified as a medical intervention. Really? Medical intervention is defined as the act of intervening or interfering or interceding with the intent of modifying the outcome. In medicine, an intervention is usually undertaken to help treat or cure a condition. End quote. Having pointed this out, they came back with the ludicrous statement that drinking fluoridated water isn't described as a medical intervention in any jurisdiction throughout the world. Well, fancy that. Well, neither's tap dancing, which, like the act of drinking, has nothing whatsoever to do with the criminal act of adding neurotoxic poison to water for the express purpose of causing an intended biological effect. That is medical intervention. Patently absurd semantics can't disguise their threadbare pretext for poisoning public water is under the guise of a medical intervention, a practice internationally outlawed by the Geneva Accords. It's also a malevolent human rights abuse enforced in disregard of the people's knowledgeable understanding of the toxicity of fluoride. It persists in the face of strenuous and ever-increasing public demand to stop intentionally poisoning the water with a known neurotoxin. Unlawful defiance of the people's repeatedly stated and exponentially mounting insistence to cease and desist is a crime of malicious intent. Criminal negligence is further established by the world's leading medical journal, The Lancet, categorizing fluoride as a neurotoxin of equal toxicity to arsenic and lead. The criminal scam of water fluoridation originates from long-standing scientific fraud, systemic government corruption, and outright lies. In concert with 98% of the world's population supported by dental health experts and oral hygiene specialists, the Australian community resolutely opposed the deliberate poisoning of public water with the hazardous neurotoxic industrial waste of fluoride. The public demand this gross human rights violation to cease and desist. 
This is not a request, but a non-negotiable direction from the people as the foundation of all government and law that is issued to all relevant elected representatives as public servants who are in the direct employ of the public and paid by the public to act for the benefit of the public. Deliberately poisoning public water is not part of the job description. The limited authority allocated to the private corporation masquerading as government derives exclusively via the consent of the governed. The criminally enforced medical intervention of fluoridation is categorically denied consent. They are repeatedly directed by the public majority to effect immediate cessation of water fluoridation. This malevolent practice is undertaken under the auspices of statute law that is entirely contingent upon public consent. This criminal medical intervention is emphatically denied consent and must therefore be immediately terminated as repeatedly demanded by the people. No administration has the remit to deny the majority will and the overwhelming insistence of the people or arrogantly flout 98% of world opinion condemning fluoridation. The massive and ever-growing body of incontestable evidence establishing the case against fluoride is consistently ignored or denied by the despicable Medical Mafia Department of Health. This demonstrates malicious intent from an administration of organised crime. I therefore recommend every concerned group and individual write to their respective departments of health, asking them to show cause why they should not face criminal charges of breach of trust, duty of care neglect, attempted genocide and gross abuse of public office. The abhorrent poisoning of public water supplies must be stopped. Thank you for watching.